when it comes to the identification of people, that to me is one of the um, shining examples or the key elements of why Kenya in 2010 to 2015 became one of the, uh, let's say, poster boys or poster children for um, for financial inclusion and for mobile uh, mob mobile finance through the likes of M-Pesa. The reason why, one of the big reasons why they succeeded is because every Kenyan is identified with a uh, with a number or with a code and looking up a person in a database that is managed by the government and figuring out whether Daryl Yu is in fact Daryl Yu is extremely easy. That has not been true in the Philippines so far, but the good news is, uh, and again, the silver lining is that the national ID is something that is very much um, in full swing now. And hopefully over the next couple of years, we will start really feeling the benefits of it. So it's much easier for every Filipino to come to a financial institution like ourselves and to identify themselves with a single code rather than having to go through many hoops in order to get a financial account. Uh, so that I think identification of people is very important, not just in getting the financial account, but then in making sure that we can credibly provide credit to that person and therefore start bringing down the cost of credit for people who are repaying, for people who are in fact um, uh, reliable customers of the financial institution. That to me is the, uh, the biggest development that we're gonna see in the financial services industry over the next year or a couple of years.